As the first honorary president of the Eurasian Council on Foreign Affairs, ECFA, I take great pleasure in speaking to you from Brussels on the occasion of the ECFA's official launch in the presence of distinguished international statesmen and world leaders. The ECFA is a new high-level and independent think tank dedicated to the discussion and debate of Central Asia, placing our region at the very heart of the European Union. This is a historic day for Central Asia and especially for my country of Kazakhstan. The ECFA's launch has included the attendance of some of Europe's most notable political leaders, including Dr. Benita Ferrero Waldner, the former Foreign Minister of Austria and former EU Commissioner for External Relations, Dr. Václav Klaus, former President of the Czech Republic, Dr. Alexander Kwasniewski, former President of Poland, Dr. Bondovic, former Prime Minister of Norway, Dr. Vuk Jeremic, former Prime, uh, Foreign Minister of uh, Serbia, the Honorable Antonio Martino and Honorable Franco Frattini, former Foreign Ministers of Italy, and Lord Lamont, former Chancellor of Exchequer of the United Kingdom. We hope to be joined by other influential leaders of Europe as the ECFA grows and its work program increases. We were also joined, of course, by the ambassador in Brussels from our fellow Central Asian countries, uh, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the ECFA's first director, Ravan Kenjihanule. Ravan has commissioned a series of well-researched and thought-provoking papers about Central Asia, which I invite you to read on the ECFA's homepage. He has also established excellent working relations with many international institutions based in Brussels. The ECFA plans to develop an exciting study program in association with other think tanks to cover topics that matter to the entire Central Asia region. It is also my hope that through the ECFA audiences in Europe, we'll come to learn about Kazakhstan's bid for a non-permanent seat on the UN Security Council for the years 2017 and 18. This can be the first time such a mission is trusted to a Central Asian state, and I hope it will be widely supported by many European countries. I'm delighted to invite you to follow the ECFA's progress as it expands and develops through informed debate and a genuine exchange of views on all topics. Finally, I'd like to thank the superb International Advisory Council, all of the ECFA subscribers, and all of our friends in Europe for their faith and support in this worthwhile project. Thank you for celebrating this very special occasion with us.